Hi. Hi. Uh, Hi. Please introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Cindy, CEO of LCO. Uh, so what do we see? What are you wearing? Uh, I'm wearing autofocal glasses uh, for press by ops. I mean, uh, for sighted people. Can you take them off and yeah. show? So it's a working prototype? Yes. Is it powered on? Yes, this is prototype. Is it powered on right now? Mm, yes. And uh, how does it work? Um, actually, this needs the application setup to uh, change lens grade. And uh, once set up, you can uh, wear in autofocal mode. And uh, I see it's like, yes. uh, sorry, let me just turn here. Mm -hmm. uh, I see there's like a glass right mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and there's another layer, mm -hmm. and the two glasses together, and the other layer is flexible or? Uh, yes. Uh, we are using liquid crystal lens, and uh, this is combined with. Um, thank you. Uh, so there's like uh, yeah. liquid crystal lens, and also yeah, all maybe some lenses. polymer plastic kind of lens, or no? Yeah, glass lenses, right now. Glasses. Yeah. And with this, it can provide people who have far-sighted problems. Yes. Uh, is it like? Um, uh, is it everybody who wear glasses? Um, not everybody. Um, uh, now the lens of tuning grade is a little bit limited. Uh, but, but people who have myopia and plus myopia wear, can wear this. And how many people are we talking about? How many? Millions. <laughs> Difficult. Uh, in United States, um, maybe half of the press bios can wear this. All right, so millions of people. Yeah, millions of people. And what is the advantage of this? Fantasy. What is the advantage? Advantage, I'm sorry. Yeah. Advantage, uh, just uh, uh, now people wearing bifocal glasses or changing multiple uh, pairs of glasses when they work at desk and uh, yeah, driving and uh, I mean, playing sports like that. So they can only wear one pair of glasses when they use this. And how soon can this be the same size like one normal pair of glasses? Uh, within one year. What do you need to change for that to be smaller? What is, is it oh, electronics okay. in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Electronics should be more smarter. What is electronics in here? Um, electric circuit and the computers. There's a vision? It can detect the distance of something? Yeah, or? distance. Uh, we have distance sensor here. <laughs> so there's a distance center, yeah. and automatically it adjusts very precise. Yes, yes. And it has to adjust based on each user's yeah. uh, uh, eyes? Yeah, uh, distance from eyeglasses and objects. Does it also work for reading? Yes. Of course. So you can switch from reading to driving to driving, sports to yeah. walking around. Yes. No need to change your glasses. Yes. Yes. So it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, do you work together with the glasses company? The the people who make millions and millions of glasses. Do they work with you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So it's like big Japanese company. Or something <laughs> like that? Yeah. Yeah. We are talking with big Japanese company right now. And is it very expensive technology? Uh, not so far. Really, not really. Not really. Some people, they pay thousands of dollars for their glasses, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe this can be the same price? Yeah. Just Actually. with it, including the technology? Yes, yes. And exactly. so far as battery is long time? Mm -hmm. Whole day? Um, now 10 hours, but it will be all day. All right. And what do you need to make it work for all the different use cases, not only half of, you know, you say you, you target right now, it uh, works for half. Okay. Uh, there are uh, people who have strong myopia, so we should um, develop lenses for them. So for strong, you need to just do a different lens? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. But the technology could be similar? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Cool. <laughs>